<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mindless Minecraft Presents Minecraft 101 for Parents. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the basic concepts of Minecraft, along with some of the most famous mobs and the two different styles of play that one might play when playing Minecraft. That way, when other people are having conversations about Minecraft and geeking out over Minecraft, you'll know what they're talking about, at least enough to be able to join in. The first game mode that I'm going to teach you about is survival. And in survival, you are dropped down in the middle of nowhere with nothing. <laughs> so. First thing we need to do to survive is build ourselves some tools and then we need to build ourselves a shelter before the sun goes all the way through the sky and nighttime comes. So first thing we need is some tools. And to get those tools we're going to need some wood. So I'm going to chop out a piece of this tree here to begin with. <laughs> Welcome to Minecraft Physics. And I'm going to use this wood to create the rest of what I need. So I've used the wood to create a crafting bench. And a crafting bench is what we need to make everything else in the game. This is the main piece of the entire game. When we open up the crafting bench, we have a 9x9 crafting grid, which we're going to use to make a tool. Now every tool has a recipe. So for example, I'm going to put two sticks down and three planks across and I get a wooden pickaxe. If I were to change that recipe up a little bit and put my three planks like so, I get a wooden axe. Now that I have a wooden pickaxe and a wooden axe, I want them to be better. So I'm going to use my wooden pickaxe to mine out some stone and I'm going to use that stone to make myself a stone pickaxe. Ha ha! <laughs> As we've been gathering resources, the sun has been slowly setting. And once nighttime comes, all the bad guys come out. So we need to make ourselves a shelter. And I've got one started here. I'm going to take all of the wood that I've been gathering with my axe, and I'm going to make myself a little house. Ah, what a beautiful little house she is, but she's not quite finished. First, she needs a little bit of light, otherwise there's no way I'll be able to see when the sun goes down. And finally, she needs a little bit of decoration. So the sun has set, and soon the bad guys will be coming out, so I've got to get inside. Now that I'm inside and it's nighttime, I'm pretty safe. But if we look outside, there are lots of monsters just waiting to get in and kill me. <laughs> so let's see what happens if we slip outside. Ah! Whew! That was a close one. <laughs> it's a good thing I built this house when I did, because if I didn't have this house... I would be stuck outside, surrounded by monsters who are trying to kill me. So this brings us to our first bad guy. Bad guys are also known as mobs. This guy here is the zombie. The zombie chases you around, and if he catches you, he starts beating you up. And if he beats you up enough, ah! <laughs> they kill you. <laughs> So next on our list of things to do is to get better material. And we're going to do this by caving. So here is a cave, and I've got my pickaxe, and I have my torches. So with our trusty tools, we venture down into the dark caves to find the treasure that we're looking for, making sure to light it up as we go so the monsters don't come out and get us. And here we are. This is what we're looking for. This is the next stage in our tool evolution. This is iron ore. To use that ore, first I need to make myself a furnace. And then I will smelt my ore in the furnace to make iron ingots. And using those iron ingots in the same pattern as before, I can make myself an iron pickaxe and an iron sword. And... Iron Armor!
And now that we have that armor, we're ready to go exploring. <laughs> so now that we're all decked out, we will go deeper and deeper into the cave to try and find the next level of ore. Way deep down in the depths of the cave, I have come across the ore of all ores, the diamond ore. Diamond ore is the pinnacle. It is what everybody looks for, and when you find it, it is one of the greatest feelings in the world. I found diamonds! <laughs> With my diamonds, I can make myself the diamond pickaxe. I can also make myself a diamond sword. <laughs> And last, but certainly not least, I can make myself diamond armor. <laughs> oh yeah. Now that I have my diamond armor, I'm ready to take on some mobs. Ha ha! <laughs> so, the first mob, just as we met before, is the zombie. And here we have a horde of zombies. But we are decked out in our diamond armor, so let's get them! Ha ha! Ah! <laughs> the next mob that I'm going to introduce you to is the skeleton. The skeleton is the archer of the game. And luckily, I've brought my bow with me, so we can have a little shootout. Ha ha! <laughs> yeah! So the final mob I'm going to introduce you to first takes a little setting up. This is my favorite of all mobs and the most annoying. So I'm sitting here happily decorating my house and building my house. I'm going to add some more onto the roof here. This inside looks horrible, so I'm going to decorate it. Let's put down some carpet. Oh yeah, this is looking really nice. Um, let's put some art on the walls here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. and. Let's put down this. We'll put a little flower pot on top. Let's see. I also want... Ah! <laughs> yeah. That is the creeper. <laughs> oh, my poor house. All the work I did. It's gone. It just blew up. <laughs> yeah. That is our old friend, the creeper. The creeper is a sneaky little guy who doesn't make any noise when he's walking around. So when he sees you, he sneaks up silently <laughs> and explodes. The scariest sound in the game is that hiss that you didn't see coming because it's going to kill you and it's going to destroy everything that you've been working on. That is the creeper. <laughs> so now that you're familiar with the survival game mode, the other game mode, which arguably is the most played game mode and where Minecraft really shines, is the creative game mode. In the creative game mode, you have a whole list of items that you can use. Any item in the game, pretty much, you can grab in creative mode. And you have unlimited blocks. So when I take a block, I can just build and build and get rid of. And so, because of this, you can build absolutely amazing things. Huge, intricate, awesome things. And this is really where the power of Minecraft shines, because it is what's called a sandbox game. You can do anything you want in it. And some of the stuff that people have made is amazingly creative and amazingly fun and inspiring. There's a whole community of builders in Minecraft. And the stuff that they build and then share is truly breathtaking. <laughs> I want to thank you all for joining me for Minecraft 101. I am Johnny Knowing, and if you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, make sure to check out our other Mindless Minecraft videos. In those videos, we take social questions and social problems. What do I do about bullies? 
I procrastinate way too much. What can I do? And we explain those things and give answers through the lens of Minecraft. Be sure to check those out. And as always, I am Johnny Knowing. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye.